Hi guys, welcome to Togare, the online platform that links service providers, experts and professionals to the public in face-to-face -face meetings. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how easy it is to join in as an expert, how to create your profile and so on. So I'm going to go uh, straight to the site www.togare.com and uh, so uh, depending whatever page you're on, all you do is scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the begin meeting link. So I push that to open the virtual meeting room. And once the meeting room opens, uh, you'll see the welcome message if it's your first time, and then the menu is going to pop up. So as you can see, these are different categories that we have right now. Of course, there's room to add more. Uh, now, the first thing I'm going to do is take you through uh, just what, what a profile looks like uh, as an example. So we're going to hit the 24-7 services and at Wagare Care and see uh, different profiles. So it's going to go ahead and pull down the profiles. So we can see we have about... Uh, about four expert profiles here and uh, three of them are offline uh, one person is online Rachel here so you can see the name the uh, title there's, there's an information uh, here to click to get a bit more information uh, she's a team lead in innovations and uh, where she's in, in, in Uganda uh, this is a 12 hour meeting time the time she's available this is for clients to note uh, every day mid morning afternoon so they can plan uh, you can look at Alex's profile uh, he's a lawyer and uh, he's in he's in uh, he's in Kenya, Nairobi, uh, and, and and he's available also weekdays. Uh, Priscilla the same. So it's, that, that that that's interesting. So uh, that's the information that you fill in when when you're. Uh, we're going to see that as we're filling in our profile. So I just also show you uh, this. There's an icon here, a kind of lock icon. What this means is that uh, uh, Rachel has set a password on her on her profile. So before you enter a meeting with her a pin. Uh, you're going to have to know, the client's going to have to know what, what her PIN is. So probably she, you know, you, you can set that in case you want to have private meetings, you, you, you know, and, and this is flexible. You can set it on, remove it, uh, you can uh, at, at will. I'll show you how to do that. So just as an example, if I try to enter into the meeting. Please confirm to begin the meeting. Yeah, it's going to ask me for her PIN. If I, if I insist. Please enter the expert's room PIN to continue. Yeah, the, yeah, I'm going to have to know what her PIN is. So I'm going to cancel. As you that. wish. <clears throat> Yeah, then also uh, for experts who are offline, uh, clients can set alerts, set an alert and get notified when the expert is, is, is available. So, uh, you know, if I punch my email here and I confirm, what, what it does is it sends a notice to the expert saying, hey, uh, somebody on Twogare is trying to get in touch with you. And so when the expert, when I, when the expert gets back online, uh, the client gets notified by, by email, hey, the person you want to talk to is actually online, so you can get back uh, and meet them. So if the email is only stored for that transaction. It's not stored. Uh, we don't forward it uh, to, to, to the expert. Okay. And finally, just uh, I want to show you uh, here, there's a filter. And what that does is uh, just to give you a bit more guidance as you're filling in your profile, uh, especially as, as you're punching in uh, uh, the information, uh, some details, give, trying to give details of what you do. It's important because if we say we had a, uh, 100 uh, profiles under here, clients are going to be using this filter to say, you know, punch in and say, if I'm looking to see who, who is a lawyer, it's going to filter through all and, and, and very quickly uh, just uh, bring out a lawyer. If I want to know who is, uh, you know, whatever, whatever I punch in here, it's going to search through all the profiles and then uh, filter, filter around the profiles that match what is typed in here. So if I say I want to look uh, yeah, and see who, is, who is, uh, has something to do with innovation, it's going to pull these, these guys out and see, okay, these guys are innovation. Uh, if I say I want to know who is uh, online, it can also uh, filter that out and, and see uh, who, is, who, is on, who is online. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite important as, as you fill in uh, your information. So I'm going to uh, close out of this. And uh, we're going to go straight uh, and, and, and see how easy it is to create uh, our profiles. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you uh, to, uh, to, to the quick help guide, uh, which is on the site uh, through this link here. So when I punch that, it's going to open up the quick help, a quick start guide on, on the site. So you can scroll down. You can actually access this uh, when you're on the website by scrolling down to the bottom. And there's links here. There's actually a link even here. The links all over the site. Uh, that take that to bring out this, this guide. It's, it's quite it's quite important if you want to uh, read a bit more uh, step step by step guide. Uh, yeah. So like like in this case, uh, we have three steps. We want to join in as an individual expert. But just uh, to see up here, it says if you haven't already, 
please authenticate your meeting room for, uh, by following the steps above. So up here, there's an important step to authenticate your room. So if you want to join in as an expert, you're going to have to uh, go through the step uh, to step uh, authentication process. So let's let's do that first. So what, the way you do it is you 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 punch you 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 click the uh, open up the side menu by clicking the button at uh, this corner, and then there's this uh, phone icon. So when I push this, it's going to open up a screen, and uh, this is a screen where I'm going to punch in my phone number, and it's basically SMS verification. So uh, there is a, uh, here I can uh, first uh, look for my country code depending on the country I'm, I'm in, or I can actually search and say I'm, I'm in Kenya, or you know whatever, and that that will filter out filter out the country code. So Let's fill in my uh, let's fill in a phone number here. Uh, so okay, and uh, push this. It's gonna now send send me a pin by SMS. Okay, takes a couple of seconds, and uh, that's uh, that that's seven seven six no seven seven six zero. Uh, sorry, seven seven six six zero. Yeah, so once once uh, once the phone your phone is verified. Would you like to stay logged into this computer? So so if it's your first time, I, I mean, if you don't want don't if you if if this is your private machine, then a private computer or, or, or device, it's it's uh, you can push yes here, so that uh, you don't have to go through the phone verification uh, step again. Next time you come into the meeting room, it will automatically remember you. And just to, to, to note, uh, you've seen now this green uh, button. This is the button you're going to push to get online after creating your profile. So we're going to create a profile. Let me, this is a step, uh, steps that it takes. So you go into any category you want. So under the experts uh, category, for example, there's this plus uh, uh, kind, kind of button, button that, that appears. So this is the button that you, that you push to bring out the uh, the 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 form. So this is the form that, that you fill in. So it's a very minimal form, just captures uh, uh, as minimal information that, as you saw in the different profiles. So I'm going to select, uh, say, uh, a, 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 you know, where, where I'm located. Say, let's just uh, pick that and uh, the category. Say, I'm, I want to be in a carpenter. I'm going to push punch in a name. Say, I'm Alan. Say, I'm a main uh, carpenter. Um, I'm in the maybe I'm in the training. It's just you know just brief summary. Uh, uh, you know good uh, good work, and the address maybe main 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 street. Uh, so this is this is where you, you you punch in a meeting pin like like I mentioned earlier. You can punch in a meeting pin, but I'm going to show you how to do it again later on. So if I here I'm going to upload a, a picture. Let me select that picture. And then this is where you pick the days when you're going to be available for clients to, to meet with you. So if I, I want to be available uh, weekends, uh, Thursday, Friday as well, public holidays, and the time I want to be uh, for meetings in the afternoon, uh, in the evening, and after midnight. So I want to <coughs> talk to people in a different time zone. And then how long do I want profile to be displayed on Togare? Uh, maybe a month. And then I, I click to join. So it takes a couple of seconds to uh, publish, and uh, while, while, while it's publishing, uh, let me just uh, talk about uh, the side menu here, uh, this uh, settings button. It's, it's going to be important for you to come and set a meeting time if you want to uh, conduct meetings uh, much longer. So the default uh, meeting time is about eight minutes for, uh, actually that's the default, it's eight minutes. So every, every client meeting that you have is going to last eight minutes. But if you want to have more time, then you're going to have to come here. Please choose how long you'd like client meetings to last. Yeah, so if you're going to have to say, if, if you're doing training, my profile has been published, you can see here. Yeah. So if you say I'm currently conducting trainings and I need maybe uh, much more time, it's, it's important that you come and set, set this up right, uh, right, right here. And uh, also uh, later on, you can, you can if you, you want to change your email, you can come and set an email or change an email. And this is an internal email that's used. It's not, it's not published on your profile. It's actually used for uh, notifications. Okay, so let's go down and see what uh, our profile looks like, the one that you just created under experts. Uh, I think it was, uh, was it Carpenters? Yes, so under Carpenters. So it pulls down the, the profiles as before. 
and uh, it's quite interesting actually that there's, there's somebody online oh just to actually show you remember Rachel's profile had a lock icon so for this one when I click to join please the meeting, confirm to begin the meeting yeah it's not going to ask me for a pin so if I push confirm here the as the you wish will start so this is somebody who is actually currently online and, and is available for meetings. So again, this is what the profile we just created looks like. And because it's me who created, uh, who is actually logged in, uh, this is my item. It shows this is my item and uh, I have this option. So this is an option where I can set a pin. Okay, I can set a pin for this profile and say my pin is uh, happy, you know, happy days. Uh, that's, that's my pin. I confirm and, uh, you know, the pin is set. So... Uh, the, the next icon here and you can see one, once the pin is set now shows uh, the icon changes uh, notifying that I can actually unlock this profile is locked and uh, if I want to I can unlock it uh, then again the information that we filled in you can click you can see here now uh, notice here as, as, as since this is my item I can actually go ahead and delete the, you know the, there's a remove profile button that appears uh, under the uh, information, much more, more information is that, that uh, delete button. So I can go ahead and delete my, my profile. Then here I can extend the display Would time. Would you like to extend the online display time for this profile? Yeah, so right now it's... Uh, it's As I you have, wish. I have 30 days. If I want to expand, extend it to maybe 90 days or much more, I can do that if I'm running out of time. And uh, I've, I've uploaded uh, a profile and I want it to, to stay much longer, I can actually extend it. So that's, that's basically what, what the profile looks like. And uh, again, to take you through the other categories, it's the same process. If I want to create a, an interview, uh, maybe I'm, I'm looking to recruit uh, maybe a doctor or somebody in a different department, I can come, I create a, uh, you know, it's the same process, uh, open up the form, select the, the location, the industry, maybe I'm looking for a, somebody in advertising, uh, the name of my business, the position I have available, uh, duration of assignment, the description, the address, maybe upload the company uh, logo, and then when when am I available to conduct the interviews? Uh, may, maybe weekends, uh, uh, you know, and then how long should this uh, uh, be uh, be displayed? Uh, yeah, and then also uh, same process if I wanna so whatever category, just to show you again, upcoming events. If I have, uh, say, an upcoming lecture or we have a, a workshop, a training, a conference, whatever it is, the same process. I open up the form by click clicking the uh, new and then the category, the name of the event, the date, the start date, the, you know, the duration of, of the event. Maybe it's a five day workshop. I give a bit of a description where it's going to be taking place, a company a logo and so forth. Uh, then uh, the days when I'm available to my team is available to discuss and uh, how long I want this this, uh, this 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 profile to be online. So if I have my event uh, going to take place in about three months from now, I can have, uh, you know, uh, meetings for about one month talking to different people, maybe sponsors and whoever, uh, whoever wants to know more about this event. So that's basically um, what I want to talk to you about. And uh, just lastly, uh, if we go back to the events category and any category, you'll see uh, there's a notification. And this is for clients. Uh, clients will normally push this. Uh, and set alerts to get notified uh, on, on, on new events, for example, or new interviews. Uh, if I want to be notified when somebody, a provider like like you who has just created your profile, when, 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 you, when you post a new event, post a new uh, profile, post a new interview, you know, people can get, get, get notified and, and then they'll be able to come in and, 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 uh, and meet you. Yeah. So that's basically what it takes uh, to create your profile. Immediately, once your profile has been created, all you need to do is just go ahead, open up the side menu, and click this go uh, green uh, go online button, and uh, that's that. That will put all your profiles online. So you can have as many profiles as you want under any category. And um, once once you once you're online, then all your all, all your profiles will show that you're available. But you can only be in, in one meeting at a time. So that's basically it. We thank you and look forward to having you on as as the next part.